What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Easy Dubs TV, man, and I'm back at it with another banger, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on the road to 15K subs and I can't do it without you, gang. I already checked my analytics. The majority of you guys aren't even subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time. But since I know you're not and you're rocking with this content, make sure you turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss out on any other daily live streams, only 2K news and content moving forward, and make sure to smash that like button for me. So, current gen dubs is in the building. As promised, I have delivered. Now, next gen is still gonna be my primary game that I'm on, but when next gen starts to dry out, or if y'all be like, dubs, you really gotta run with this game. We need you, you, get, you just got to, calm down. I got you. Now, this build right here is crazy. It's a two-way inside-out score. Now, I ain't gonna spoil too much because obviously this is a build video. Make sure you stay locked in because I'm gonna show you the build here on current gen, but I'm also gonna slide on over to next gen and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like over there too. So make sure you stay locked in and uh, enjoy the vid. Okay, y'all. So first things first, position we're going with power forward. For the hand, I always go right hand, but you can go left if you prefer. Jersey number, put it whatever you want, but I always go 14 because that's your boy's lucky number. For the height, we're gonna go seven foot. For the weight, we're gonna go 219. And then for the wingspan, we're gonna go 79. And then for the body shape, you can go built or defined. Personally, I would say go with built just to give you that bigger appearance. But if you wanna just seem a little bit slick, but still like, you know, ugh, out there, then you can go with defined, but we're gonna go with built for right now. Now for the close shot, you get an 81 close shot. For the driving layup, you're gonna get a 68. For the driving dunk, you're gonna get an 86. For the standing dunk, you're gonna get an 80. And then, oh no, you're gonna get an 81. And then for the pulse control, you're gonna bring this up all the way to a 95. For mid range, you're gonna get a 68. Three pointer, you're gonna get it maxed out at 80. And then for the free throw, you're gonna bring up to a 60. Pass accuracy, you're gonna bring up to a 77. And then interior defense, you're gonna bring up to an 86. Perimeter defense, you're gonna bring up to a 60. Steal, you're gonna leave at 38. Block, you're gonna bring up to a 93. Offensive rebound, you're gonna bring up to a 70. And then defense rebound, you're gonna bring all the way up to a 93. For the speed, you're gonna go 75. For acceleration, you're gonna go 70. For the strength, you're gonna leave at 61. For the vert, you're gonna go 75. And then for the stand, you're gonna max it all the way out to a 95. Now I'm gonna break down the build for you guys. The reason why I made this build, I mean, first off, I'm a power forward and I'm seven foot with a seven nine wingspan. That's glitchy. But the fact that you can get the pro contact dunks and gold limitless takeoff on this build is insane. Then you get the pro big man contact dunks for having an 80 standing dunk. Now I did mess up this build a little bit because I believe at an 84 standing dunk, you actually get the pro uh, big man like alley-oops or something like that. Uh, sorry if I murdered the name of the package, but you'll see the package I'm talking about. It's not an end all be all though, because you still get the pro uh, contact dunk like alley-oop packages for having the 86 driving dunk. So that covers itself. But the thing that's really nasty about this is the 95 post control. Now you might be thinking, Dubs, did you just make a post score? Yes and no. The whole reason why I wanted post control is because you already know here on current gen as well as next gen, steals are super overpowered, right? So having that 95 post control is only going to allow you to get all the post badges as you can see on Hall of Fame. But if you come down to your playmaker and you get gold quick first step and Hall of Fame unpluckable, at seven foot let that set in you're seven foot and got gold quick first step and hall of fame unpluckable and then the shooting 68 mid range is going to be plenty enough i don't never shoot mid ranges it's either a three or it's going to be something in the paint that goes for me on literally all my builds even when i'm on a guard so having a 68 mid range is going to be plenty enough because literally if you know your shot you're going to be able to green three pointer is at an 80 so we're going to you're going to have to respect us like if you decide, let's say we're playing 1v1 court or we're in the twos or three situation and you just say, well, that's a seven footer. He can't shoot. I'm gonna burn that mug all day and all night. Cause if you look at the badges, I still get gold corner specialist, gold claymore, 
bronze limitless range i still get silver green machine i still get agent threes on bronze at seven foot so it's like the shooting wise you're going to be set in that department as well and then 60 free throw is just good enough for you to make anything in the wreck as far as the free throw goes you don't need this super high 77 pass accuracy just so we can get that extra playmaking badge but we're also going to get the lebron james passing style but you're also going to be able to get gold break starter so when you get the board you'll be able to throw it out 86 interior defense now i understand that no matter what generation current next gen interior defense could severely be buffed but having this at an 86 is going to be more than solid especially when you uh go ahead and combine it with that gold anchor and you get hall of fame chase down one thing you still have to keep in mind you are seven foot seven foot with a seven nine wingspan so you're going to be able to get stops in the paint it may not be always consistent because I know a lot of people are like, Dubs, I have a 90 interior defense and I get dunked down all the time. Positioning is a huge factor in actually knowing when to time certain things versus like having your hands up or actually going for the block or going for a strong block. Like there's different animations that you can trigger, but having that 86 interior with a 93 block and having some IQ, you're not going to get scored on every single time at the bucket. It's just not going to happen. Then you have a 70 offensive rebound and a 93 defensive rebound. Now you may be looking at the offensive rebound like, well, that's a little lackluster. At the same time, this build is a power forward. This build, I made this build in mind that I can go to the 1v1 court and I would be able to survive. I can go play twos and be the big and survive. I can go and play threes. And if I have to play the big, which I probably would, I can survive. And even when I go to wreck, I'm going to be at the power forward position because I made my build to be a power forward. Now, if I get slided over to the center, you might run into a little bit of difficulties, but with right positioning and knowing when to time things, you should be able to go ahead and grab rebounds. Now, if you're going up against somebody who has Hall of Fame box out, 99 strength and Hall of Fame rebound chaser, yeah, you might, you're probably going to struggle still. But at the same time, not everybody goes that OD into those categories because it costs so many badge points. So with having that gold box out beast and gold rebound chaser, you should be able to get boards consistently, especially if you're in wreck and you have another center. If that center is boxing his man out, you're gonna probably out rebound any other power forward. Then you have 75 speed and 70 acceleration, which I know is super slept on because a lot of people don't make their center builds because they said, well, acceleration is only good for the speed with ball, so I don't need my acceleration super high. Okay, so now if we're in a mismatch situation and you've got a power forward who has no speed because a lot of people don't max out their speed either, I'm burning right past you. I got a 70 acceleration, go quick first step, and if we're on a fast break opportunity and my guard has the ball, I can run up the court at a fairly decent speed by just having that 75 speed, you know what I'm saying? So this build is gonna be a freak and I get 86 driving dunk. So stand in the paint if you want to, I'm gonna punish you every time, promise you. 61 strength, 75 vertical. So I still get access to all the pro contact dunks cause I have that 75 vert. And then 75 vert on a seven footer with a seven nine wingspan, bro. I can't wait to go ahead and get this build maxed out for y'all here on Current Gen so y'all can see trust me it may sound crazy because not people make builds like this but this build is going to be him trust and believe that and then i have a 95 stamp so i ain't gonna get tired as a center power forward either and then when you look you get sharp take rim take and post take now me personally i wouldn't even worry about sharp take because then they may respect the fact that you can shoot so if you want to catch defense lacking what you want to do is you want to put on post score and then you want to put on rim protector Reason being is because you're going to be able to shoot with an 83 ball. You don't need to have spot up take to be able to shoot. So post scoring and rim protector is going to be ideal because you're going to back them down. That post score is going to activate and you'll be able to finish. And if they, if you're so worried about that, they're going to leave you open. You're seven foot. You're going to be banging threes on top of their head and they ain't going to know how to guard you. Because now if they play up on you, you have two options. You can either use your goal quick first step and run around them and you have unpluckable on too so they're not going to be able to just rip you the moment you put the ball down or you can turn around and put them in the post and then you know you can just go to work from there so after that if you did everything correctly you should get a two-way inside out score with shades of Derek coleman evan mobley and jaron jackson jr now me personally if i had to go ahead and make my own shades up i would say that this build kind of reminds me of like hakeem elijah 2.0 what was hakeem known for being able to be a post scorer, 
being able to make some crazy shots, right? And his defense. This build has defense. It's gonna be able to put you in the post and the shot making and shot creating ability is off the charts for a seven footer, all right? So that's gonna be the current gen version of this build. I'm gonna hop on over to next gen so I can show my next gen people some love and I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all that build over there. Welcome back y'all. To everybody who's on the next gen side, y'all already know it's the same exact principle. So position power forward, right hand, we're gonna go, doesn't matter what the jersey number, we're gonna go with 14. Then for the height, we're gonna go seven foot as well. For the weight, we're gonna drop this down to like mm, here. And then we can go seven nine wingspan over here. We're gonna drop his weight down some more. So we'll go about right there. And then we're gonna go with built here. Now, I've already been experimenting with this, so I kind of already know what thresholds I want to be at. 86. We're gonna bring that up to an 80. Bring the driving layup to like a 71. Max out that three ball. Bring that up. Bring that there. that 75 there 95 there bring up the interior bring up the perimeter leave that still alone bring it up to a 93 bring that up and then we can go ahead and dump the rest of these points so you should get have an 80 close shot a 71 driving layup an 86 driving dunk 80 standing dunk and a 95 post control, 83 ball, 65 mid range, 62 free throw, 77 pass accuracy. You'll get a 86 interior, just like on current, 60 perimeter, leave the still alone, 93 block, 73 offensive rebound, and a 93 defensive rebound. And you still should have all the same type of physicals. So your badge count should be 24, 13, 10, and 25. And then you go um, over here and on this one, it's kind of interesting. You get glass take to add on to them same takeovers that you get. So me personally, once again, I want to try to, you know, bait people into thinking that I can't shoot. So really you could go, I wouldn't run glass take. I mean, I just wouldn't me personally, but I would probably go like power back downs and pain intimidation, right? And if you made the bill correct, you should get shades of, once again, Derek Coleman, Jared Jackson Jr., and Evan Mobley. And I'm pretty sure you might even get the same build name. Two-way inside-out score. So, hey, if you wanted the bill for current gen or you want the bill for next gen, it's just a tad bit different because obviously the badge counts are different because badges, as far as badge count goes, works a little bit differently between each game. But the build itself is still fundamentally the same build, the same type of concept. You're still gonna be able to pick and choose what you wanna do. You'll be able to go and like, look at all these badges you get. And then of course you still get all the uh, finishing badges as far as posts going on Hall of Fame. You'll get your goal quick first step. And I can't stress this enough. You are seven foot and you are gonna be moving up the floor with a seven footer faster than any other center. And unless you are matched up against a six nine power forward who decide to primarily put up their speed and stuff like that, you'll still be able to keep up with those guys too at seven foot. Now your lateral quickness as far as, you know, cause your perimeter defense is your lateral quickness this year. You are a little lackluster, but if you're coming out of the corner anyways, being the power forward, you have gold off ball pests, which will be able to help negate the fact that people are going to be faster than what your perimeter defense is. And you're a big body, so it's not like they're just gonna be blowing right through you. And then you still get your gold quick first step. You still get your hall of fame unpluckable. You get 25 defensive badges over here, so you can go ahead and go crazy with it. You know, do something like this and I don't know. This is just a rough copy of it, right? And then you do something like, I don't know. I don't know, you wanna have on your rebound chaser. So you put that on gold. You bring up your chase down the hall of fame, bring your workhorse to silver. And then you can do like bronze challenger or you can put on that off ball pest and maybe take one off of there. 
put on like your silver off ball pass right there and you know and then you get your extra badge points so you can really deck this dud out to any way you want but hey man if you found this video informative make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you knew and so later on tonight y'all you can definitely catch me in the live stream it's been your boy easy dubs tv and uh go crazy with the build y'all love y'all man peace